so as you know i i think you don't i spent four hours building a fast flask application so this is the application what it does is uh, it has a small database okay and i have added a few links to it so if i try to search something uh, this will return all the data that is in the database currently i have kept my youtube videos title and it's url there and i have added a copy button and also this is some dynamic so if i press it i do not have to press enter it will search for it and if i press copy it will copy the data onto clipboard okay so this is what i have made now what i have to do now is i have to add all the videos from both of my channel to here okay and it is quite a pain to add them one by one so i made this little project uh, this is this little uh, python code to handle this uh, i'm going to run through this all right now but remember you will have already need to have python installed you don't need to know a lot of things i have already taken care of that but it will be really helpful if you actually you know what let's see what kind of hurdles a new person can get into so you click on this code and you click on downloads once you get this you extract this to let's say downloads that's all right okay show the files and quit so here is the extracted file you right click and you open it with visual studio code now after you are in visual studio code uh, you have to trust this first a few things change okay so the thing is uh, based on your system if it's windows or linux there will be a different way to make a virtual environment okay, we make a virtual environment in python before running the code we don't usually run it right away so in you can google it it's very easy but on linux you do it like you know what let me show you virtual environment python windows i think that is what you guys will be using okay that is pretty easy you have to install pip pip install virtual environment virtual environment version and you just run this command virtual environment space virtual environment name i have never done it with this command let me check can i do that okay yeah so it also creates on linux the same command and to activate it on windows on windows you have to on windows yeah here yeah, or you can see on windows you have to do something like this you have to uh you have to do i, I actually done this command to install you have to go into scripts and activate okay you have to go into scripts and activity and you have to run that file you know what this, this is not as clear let me show you this is not as clear okay so this makes the command how to run the python so yeah uh you do not have to use the ps1 file you just you can just use in in the terminal you can just type when that the folder that you made you go into scripts and you type activate okay so this is how you do on again the, the process is kind of similar on windows on windows you go when scripts and activate on linux you go when dot when uh, scripts no i don't think it's it's bin and activate and oh sorry i have to uh, source dot slash when you just write the one letter and press tab okay now you can see it says v e n v at the start it means i'm in the virtual room. now what do i have to do after that i have to do install python install pip i already have that if you don't have it no that is pretty easy install the requirements so how do you install the requirements pip install dash r requirements dot txt okay so in if you see the requirements we are using three uh, libraries beautiful soap for selenium and tqdm okay selenium for automating the task beautiful soap for actually uh, i don't even remember at this point but basically connecting to the web server tq to m to keep a, a, a progress bar at the bottom okay this is the file okay 
and you have to do two things first on the channel url you put you put a channel name so here you can see the channel url you have to put the videos link so you go to an channel let's say i go to i go to this channel i go to my own channel let's go to my own channel and you click on videos this you see this url this is the url that we so you cut that and you paste it here we got it now if your internet speed is good and your system is not very slow keep it one otherwise increase it to two two would be enough okay so what will happen is uh, based on this value the page will actually run okay so let me show you i think that would be better to run this just type python and um, if you are using python 3 you can type python 3 space and this file okay and i keep it to the side so you can see so you see what happens the page opens okay and it checks how many videos are there so there are 250 videos so if i have set the internet speed to one it will scroll down for 50 seconds if my net speed was low this will increase to 100 so that's why i say if you're on a good speed keep it one uh, if your internet speed is low just make it two so this will run for 50 seconds i try to you know manage it so that it stops at the end of the page but it was getting too complex and i i really didn't want to look too into it so anyways so this will what is this doing this is scrolling to the bottom and based on the number of the videos it will scroll okay just put this here and after the scrolling is complete see it almost took 50 right it is 45 seconds yeah so this is the last video it almost took there so even if you have a little bit of bad internet you should go and now you can see there is a video info.txt file now it contains all the video let's check a random video if this is correct or not so this video is mauno au 400 unboxing mauno so yeah this is right and there is a, there is a, a tab between all these data so what will happen is if you have excel okay and if you go into excel and you just paste it what will happen is they will separate okay like this the links will be in the second column and this will be in the first column okay now you know what I'm going to do this for all my channels right now. So that was my first channel and this is my second channel. Okay. Uh, as soon as I run it, it will override this file. So that's why I took the code out of there. I didn't want to do that. Let's see for this channel how much seconds it will take. So it has only 124 videos. So it will only run for 24.8 seconds okay let's see if that is enough or should i increase it to two if you want to be safe and you have time just make this internet speed two and just go away if you have a lot of videos on that channel i don't think i will be needing more almost almost yep so the first video is 4.5k views okay total videos for 123 okay and then if i go into the this file it has you can easily test it below this so yeah now i can simply copy this and also since it is slash t you don't even need to paste it into excel you can also directly go ahead and paste it into your database so yeah that's it i know the code is not as user friendly but i think anyone who is looking into something like this that can you know make their life a bit easier i think they can go a bit ahead and try to figure out how the virtual environment you can activate and install okay see you